Hello my lovelies, this is BL Fan Edits and today I'm coming at you with 10 recently finished BLs that aren't getting talked about enough. These are BLs that are great in terms of quality, acting and chemistry but still couldn't get popular in the fandom for some reason. I thought I should talk about them today to bring your notice to them and hopefully convince you all to give them a try since we haven't got too many ongoing BLs on our watch list right now. So without further ado, let's look at 10 recent BLs that in my opinion are very underrated and should be recognized more. Whenever I'm in a mood to feel sad, I watch this show because it is so beautiful but so so sad. Never have I ever seen a show that has made me feel so grateful for being alive and having my loved ones by my side. Japanese have a way to touch this chord in your heart. They have this ability to make you look deep within and find your center, bring you that calmness, make you pause and reflect on your existence. Eternal Yesterday or Ain no Kino is a sad but beautiful love story of high school students Koichi and Mitsuru. Koichi and Mitsuru fall in love despite having totally opposite personalities. One day Koichi gets hit by a truck. However, he feels completely fine and instantly gets up and smiles as usual. But people around him slowly start forgetting about his existence. I have no idea why it isn't talked about much because the chemistry between Koichi and Mitsuru is amazing. The story itself is very unique and memorable. We could see the future of Mitsuru in the form of the teacher and that helped me to get a closure for the love story. Love Bill is definitely one of the better BLs to come out of Vietnam in the recent years. I was hooked to the story and the chemistry between the couple and binge watched this series in two days. The love story itself is pretty cliched as in it's a typical sad love story that we have seen different versions of in the past. But what makes it unique is the beautiful backdrop of Vietnamese countryside, interesting main couple as well as side characters and the acting of the two main leads. They were great in both goofy comedic scenes as well as emotional sentimental scenes. Their intimate moments and interactions made me squeal and gush and I loved seeing them on screen together. Bavin has always been great at all the BL roles he has done so far but I feel like his chemistry with Lee Duck has been the best so far. I really loved happy ending romance because I believe that Jung Yoon, Taeyang and Jung Woo are actually living together ever after as a throuple. The plot of this drama is actually one of a kind because till now we haven't seen a BL that was based around writers or set in the literary world. The unique thing about this BL is that even though it is a love triangle, the two leads are both very likable and both try to protect Jung Woo in their own ways. This drama is not talked about much because of the seemingly complex plot and the vague execution, but for me, I enjoyed it. I felt like Jung Woo had chemistry with both Jung Yoon and Tae Young. He got attracted towards Tae Young because of his overly positive attitude and him constantly motivating Jung Woo to write in his own name. But Jung Yoon also loved him deeply and protected him from the bad press and even sacrificed his own career for Jung Woo. So in my head, he's living his best life with both of them. Okay, I will admit that I was really put off by Earth crying and whining in every episode and I wish the director didn't make his character so meek and spiritless. But apart from that, I really enjoyed this show. I feel like Santa and Earth have good chemistry and it shined in my only 12%. I really love the whole concept of the show, two best friends with opposite personalities fall in love with each other over time. At first, Siub faces heartbreak when he saw Cake being in a relationship with a girl, oblivious to Siub's feelings. And after a few years, the tables are turned and it was Cake's turn to get jealous and realize his feelings for Siub. I feel like Siub's mother dying at the end was an unnecessary addition towards the end and we could have seen their relationship progress even further in the last couple of episodes episodes instead of witnessing that annoying crying from CU which I had to fast forward because it was too much. This show was well made and well executed and deserved more recognition in my opinion. Kabe Koji is another BL that I don't understand why I didn't get the hype that it deserved. 
It was extremely well acted with substantial side characters that enhanced the storyline. It was a seemingly light-hearted show that surprisingly dealt with deep topics such as facing challenges as an introvert. People who are always positive and happy might be hiding deep sadness behind their smiling exterior, etc. This was a very heart-touching story of two close friends that experienced personal growth with each other's support. I wish more people watched this because it is such a feel-good story. Two Sir with Love really amazed me with its solid story and execution. I usually am a fan of Lacan, but I have not seen a BL Lacan done so well. It had romance, drama, and suspense, basically every ingredient that makes a good Lacan. There is something about the story that is so gripping. In every episode, there is a lot that is happening and you can't press the skip button, which I usually do because even though the episode is long, there are no fillers. It's interesting throughout. The main lead's chemistry is amazing and it's just good to see two mature characters fall in love and fight for their love. I'm honestly so tired of watching university and school BLs, so watching two grown-ass men fall in love, get jealous and do silly romantic things together gave me so much life. Also, the fact that the story was set in the 1940s makes the drama very unique in my opinion. Now I'm going to contradict myself here because I said that I'm tired of watching university BLs but who can resist the cutest little bean Amagi? He's so precious that I want to keep him in my pocket and carry him around everywhere with me. I've seen a lot of UKs in BL dramas over the years but I haven't seen a UK quite like Amagi. To me he is the personification of all the typical UKs we have seen in yaoi mangas. I love this drama because it portrays exactly what high school puppy love is. It's innocent, it's wholesome and it is age appropriate. The story is not intense, the issues they face as a high school couple are also not intense but suitable to their age. In this day and age where every drama is getting over sexualized and even high school's PLs are showing BDSM themes, this wholesome and fluffy drama is very much needed and appreciated. If I ignore the extremely annoying, selfish and loudmouthed mother, this drama is very very well done and worth watching. When the show was announced and when I saw the trailer, I assumed that it was gonna be a sexy forbidden love kind of story, but it turned out to be completely different to what I had thought. This was a surprisingly deep and emotional drama that dealt with issues like abandonment and grief. Wang is such a strong character and portrayed so well by actor Pond. His quest to find out more about his father, his way of calling out his mother on her selfishness and homophobia, the way he looked that in with so much longing, everything was amazing about his character. It was hard to see the toxic mother and her unhealthy attachment towards Wang, but I think she acted well for her role because I ended up hating her a lot. This drama should have won an award for the beautiful screenplay, cinematography and of course acting and I think it's a shame that it was overlooked by the fans. This drama is so so good that I was on the edge of my seat in every episode and binge watched it in a day. The very unique thing about this drama is that the protagonist that you admire and love in the show turns out to be the person you end up hating at the end of the drama. And this has only happened in one other show called The Effect. I rate the show so much because I did not expect that the ML that I liked so much will turn out to be a massive spineless prick and I will end up liking the other guy who cherishes the MC more than the ML. This is a quintessential Japanese drama in the sense that you never know what you're gonna get in each episode. The theme of this show is very very weird. I could not understand why the decisions they take were taken because to me their reasoning felt so ridiculous but at the same time I completely understood why they did what they did. This is a drama that you definitely have to see as a BL fan or as a Japanese drama fan in general. Highly highly recommend. Remember Me is a good drama. I wouldn't watch it for the BL or romance element. I would watch it for nostalgia and for all the general relationships these characters form with people around them. This drama gives a lot of different flavors of romance and friendship. Each episode was emotionally charged. I hated the wigs they wore but if you ignore that, the drama is actually such a nice and easy watch. Majority of the characters were likeable and I especially liked Jam's grandfather. He reminded me of my own grandfather. The writing is a bit lazy in this one but overall I enjoyed this show and all of the relationships. So these were 10 of the recently concluded BLs that are quite underrated in my opinion. Please leave a comment below and let me know which are your favorite dramas that aren't getting talked about enough. 
As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more BL ranking, gossip and news videos. See you all soon. Bye.